Hey guys, my name's Jim and it's time to geek out. If you pull off doing something different, well, the sky's the limit for a franchise. The new Candyman movie is directed by Nick DaCosta from a screenplay by Jordan Peele and it stars Yaha Abdul-Mateen as Anthony McCoy, a visual artist who gets obsessed with the legend of the Candyman. Also stars Tiona Paris as Brianna, his partner. And of course it stars the legendary Tony Todd as the legendary Candyman. Now Candyman is a character I'm really, really glad they brought back. You know, all these franchises that are constantly getting unearthed and redone, redone, redone with 9,000 movies. Halloween, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 30th, they're trying to bring back. Candyman was kind of sat there, it had three movies. Yes, the sequels aren't great, but they didn't, they weren't churning it out. This, is a, this isn't a franchise that's been dead, driven into the ground. This is a franchise that actually like, oh yeah, well, I would like to see Candyman back. I actually think Candyman is up there with the slashers. I really, really do, and he's never talked about in the kind of upper echelon of Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy. For me, he's in there. For me, I would want to see Michael versus Candyman, Jason versus Candyman. That's cool to me. But interestingly, this movie does things in a bit of a different way. Not going to spoil things, but it is not what you'd expect. It keeps you on the edge of your seat and it changes the lore of Candyman. It's inventive, it's creative, it's ambitious. And that's what I want from today's horror remakes and long awaited sequels. Them to be ambitious, them to be creative, them to take risks. And this movie does all of that. Now, the 1992 Candyman feeling has such a haunting feel, such an absorbing feel. And I think they managed to recreate it in this. You know, it's immediately eerie, it's immediately creepy, it's immediately kind of dreamlike and kind of gets underneath your skin. You know, and I really, really like the opening scene in this where a child nearly meets Candyman. It's very, very um, creepy. And I, you know, I wasn't expecting that we'd see that right at the start of the film. Even the opening credits to this are very creepy and odd and the music while not up to the sound of the music in a 1992 film, which is so scary, but so melancholy as well. The music was quite disturbing. And then one of the things which I really, really liked early on was there were obviously characters telling the story and the legend of what happened with Helen from the first movie and Candyman. And it's told in puppet form. It's told in puppet reenactment, which really disturbed me and reminded me of the Babadook. The Babadook had that kind of scary black, kind of puppets, um, you know, very macabre, very odd, very nightmarish feeling. And I like how they had this in this film throughout. They, those scenes really, really creep me out. I always find that kind of animation just very, very bizarre, and very, very creepy and very, very uh, eerie. And it kind of takes the innocence of puppets and, you know, brings it into this terrifying um, story. So Candyman is just completely in the shadows for the entire movie. This is what Halloween 2018 claimed to do. The way that Candyman is shown in this, so sparingly, but so vivid and memorable and terrifying. And in the shadows, you know, there's a kill in a projection room where his silhouette appears. There's that kill that you see in the trailer where um, you see in a girl's uh, school bathroom in the makeup mirror, you just see his hook. I love that, you know, you, you know Growing up, that was what scared me, you know, almost seeing, or, you know, almost, he's still having that question in your mind of what does he really look like? What is he, you know, is he, is he this entity who can, you know, move at will or whatever it is? I almost feel like not seeing it fully is scarier. I genuinely do. And this film got that idea. And, you know, having 2018, the makers have been going around saying they did that. They did not do that. Candyman 2021 did that. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is where the main character of Anthony sees himself as Candyman in the mirror. That's got a real kind of Stanley Kubrick, vivid, dizzying vibe, that scene. He kind of wanders out into a corridor, which is all white, and sees a mirror. And it's so dreamlike and nightmarish, and he just sees himself as a Candyman. So when he moves his hand, you know, obviously it's a hook in the mirror. You know, and it's Candyman in the mirror, and you see bees on the other side of the mirror. That was world-class horror in my book. Absolutely, incredibly well done. You know, and it could be up there with the great horror scenes. It really, really could. I was just glued to the screen during that and so disturbed. To be honest, the weakest part of the film is probably Anthony. 
I don't think he's a very absorbing protagonist, which is a shame. Helen was a much more absorbing protagonist in the 1992 film. Um, I thought Helen was really, really good. He gets better as the film goes on. And, you know, as more, as more tension comes and as he doesn't know what's going on, he gets better. But for most of the film, you're like, come on, mate. Stop putting everyone through this. You know, it's like kind of the desperation has led him to focus on this Candyman case. But everyone's like, stop saying Candyman. Stop, you're scaring me. You almost want to blame the guy because he's like determined to make everyone say Candyman. It's like, wait, I know you don't think it's real, but if it is real, we're all in the shit because of you. Now, without spoiling it, this film does have a new take. It's creative. It goes somewhere else. It completely does. It keeps the fundamentals. It makes this scary urban legend, twisted, odd vibe. It keeps the vibe of the first film. But it goes in a, in a whole new direction. It, it completely becomes its own thing. Now, I like that. I want this to happen with franchises. You know, we've got the originals. We've got them. You know, if you'd have just made another Candyman with Tony Todd, you know, exactly the same as the first Candyman, you know, what have you really done? Where, you know, I'm sick of it. It's, it's rehash, it's tired, it's boring. We need to go off in inventive directions take these characters so they can survive longer you know we're sick of my i'm sick of michael myers i'll say I'm, I'm bloody sick of the bloke he's annoying go away mike i'm sick of jason i'm sick of freddy i'm sick of all these people just they're so boring now but if you actually try to do something with it differently and fans stop getting so offended when anything has ever changed when they've got those old films do it actually have the guts to do it you know because then what you'll do is you'll get the new generation involved you'll excite the old generation if you do it right if you do it well there is a fine line to walk if you pull off doing something different well the sky's the limit for a franchise now i know there are several franchises where it does it terrible halloween rob zombies halloween 2 for example you know jason x jason takes manhattan whatever it is just trying to do different takes but okay yeah but do the different take well that's the, that's the stipulation for me, do it well. So it does move into this really, really tense and uh, unpredictable ending few scenes. And you will not expect, you know, even if you hate this, you won't expect anything that happens, which is, you know, must be a positive in itself. It completely kept me on the edge of my seat. I do prefer the 92 Candyman, I do. I think it's just got more of a memorable feel to it and it just it's iconic you know it really really is whereas this is really really good i wouldn't call it you know it's, it's never going to reach the iconic levels because remakes never do but at least it stands out in today's horror as being a really really strong horror film and at least it takes the franchise i'm hoping we'll see more i really really hope we see more i want to see these guys come back i just want to see it done well bring the slashers back but bring them back well what do you guys think of Candyman 2021 let me know in the comments down below please click on another video on the screen now if you enjoyed this video subscribe as well if you're a movie geek just like me and i will see you guys next time